Hello, John here again, and welcome to episode 31. Will this series ever end? I doubt it. Anyway, in this, se in this episode, uh, we're going to look at the levelling and the difficulty system, because I was looking at it and I was thinking, we can make this a bit more slicker and also allow us to start adding levels quickly and more effectively so um, what we're going to do is if I've got time is we're going to first optimize the leveling and the dip, uh, difficulty routines and then we're going to add some extra parameters to the difficulty yeah difficulty part of it because I want to I want to make it easier for the easy and I want to make it harder for the harder um, and so we can uh, put you know m make it a bit easier because at the moment it's a bit cumbersome the the leveling and the difficulty right I'll show you what I mean anyway so here we are with project St studio let's get it so you can see it all there we go and and what I mean is by this right because we've got if you think about it this is level one easy yeah and we've got all that and then we've got level one normal which has got all that and level one hard which is all that now my coding brain is screaming that's been screaming at me for several weeks and when you really look at it right this is the difficulty section and this is the level section and as you can see the level section has far more stuff in it than the difficulty section and if we're using the same landscape per level and just changing the difficulty portion of it why are we copying all those bytes for, for each difficulty so my my brain was having a bit of a having a bit of a fit didn't like it was it was you know shouting at me this can be done better john sort it out so we are going to so we need to change the way this works so what we're going to do is let's go to the top where the where it's rooted to the right thing yeah so here we go so this is rooting to the right uh, the thing so the level and the difficulty we could split into two sections right so we load the level information in and then load the difficulty but I don't want to mess around with the data so what we're going to do is we're going to load the difficulty in and then load the um, level so we've got to change the way this routine works yeah so at the moment we're working out the level multiplying it and then getting the pointer and then loading it up and then we're doing it with the difficulty yeah because then we double it and then we go and ask for the the two the two um, the bytes that make the difficulty all right so what we need to go down is down here we need to work down this where the array is here we need to start working it out so this is where we go game level one array yeah which then works out the difficulty level you know then goes to the difficulty now what we what we really 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 need to do is split the level array and the difficulty array apart so the way to do this is to um, have one array with 
the landscaping in, the main array, and in that array, we can then work out what the difficulty is and then load that in. All right. Now, because we've got the level, we've got the level in which is the difficulty stuff first and then the leveling. We can simulate that as well. So, what we can do is we can keep this this game level array, yeah? Because that can be our array for the game level. But then we've got this game difficulty array. Yeah? But you've got to remember... Oh, hang on. No, we make all the difficulty... We make the difficulties the same for each level. So all... So the thrust and all that will... Be the same for every level so we can do it that way we don't want to make one level more difficult you know have stupid values i think that's wrong i think we need, just need two arrays one for um the game level and one for the difficulty level so this is effectively the difficulty array not the level one array yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to say right this is the difficulty array and in here, we're going to have level one easy, level one normal, and level one hard. And with the game array, we're going to have, right, just GM um, level one array. Okay. So we'll do the array first. So GM level one array will be like this. So we need to just take this lot and that is the level one array. So we'll create another one, GM level two array. So we'd have a, a level two. And we'll do another one, GM level three array. I know all the numbers are the same, but you know, and in fact, we'll use the numbers so it's easier to see. Level one. Level one. Level two. Level three. All right. And we'll just paste them in as well. So all these figures should be the same. All right for the easy middle easy normal and hard because all the pads are in the same place the um, scenery is the same and the uh, painting of the scenery is the same so that should be um, how it that should be how it works so if we do this so we grab that put that there put that there put that there all right two and three now for the difficulty we need to create some more arrays. So what I'm thinking of is GM difficulty easy. And then we do normal hard. So that's our array. There are two arrays. Now so we'll do the easy one first. So that's that should be pretty easy. It's basically this one, yeah? So GM difficulty easy, get rid of that. And the easy part is every that minus that. So that's the difficulty, All right? So let's do the normal. So this is the normal. And we just strip off all that. And we do the same with hard. Which is this. So we'll get rid of that, change it for hard, and strip out all the level information. And that should be it. So we need to change the reader, yeah? So the best thing to do is to um, 
load the difficulty levels, yeah, and then load the array. So that's what we'll do. So up here, we'll work it out. So X is the um, diff the level. So what we're going to do is we're going to store that away. So we'll transfer X into A, and we're just going to push it onto the the stack for the moment. Now what we're going to do with the Y is what we're going to do here. So we transfer Y times it by two, and then transfer it back to oh no, we'll leave it on X. Yeah. Then we'll go to the so this is the difficulty. Right, so we'll go we need the difficulty array. So we'll go to the difficulty array and we'll put so we'll grab that and we'll grab that and we'll put it into the zero page low and high. Alright. Now what we need to do now is um, then we put it into low and high, when in fact we can do it that can't we? we can put it in there, put it in there, and put it in there. There we go. So we can get rid of that, we don't need that, and we can get rid of that. So we're starting at zero. So if we go back to the, the data, so we're doing the difficulty first. Yeah, so the first one is gravity. The first three is gravity. Yeah. So let's mark these up. Right, so we're loading the array, and then the first three is gravity. Right, gravity. So this one's going to be fraction. So that's gravity fraction low. This is gravity fraction height and this is gravity so that's the first three sets of numbers that we are grabbing yeah and I've put them in the wrong place let's go there wants to go there right next one so the next one is thrust. So same thing again. So this one is thrust. Fraction low. Thrust fraction high. Thrust. Right, what's next? Right, thrust cost. I should be really looking at the variable name, shouldn't I? <laughs> but this is all good way of checking. Right, so this is thrust cost fraction. And this is thrust cost. So here's our three multipliers. So Yeah, because this will give us three different multiplying val uh, values for the different. Yes, I like. Good, good job. I copied it in there. Right. So this is multiplier pad one. Oh, I've done it again. Multiplier pad two. Multiply pad three. Now this is going to be horizontal inertia frac low. Oh, in fact, it's just frac. And this one is just horizontal inertia, and this one is fuel tank size. Fuel tank size and that's it for the difficulty so that's all the difficulties already gathered yeah 
So what we need to do now is do exactly the same thing again. Yeah. So we just grab. So we need to pull back from the stack the uh, level. So PLA because we know we're we don't accumulator is so we'll times it by two and then transfer it to X and we'll do the do the same thing again All right so we'll get this grab this and this as well copy and then down here we'll do the same thing right so instead of being a difficulty and we'll get rid of that as well instead of being the difficulty we are looking at the other array, which is the leveling array. There we go. All right, so we don't look at the difficulty, we go into the leveling and we store it in the same zero pages, yeah? And then we do the same thing again. So this is um, plan, uh, pad one landing x start this is pad one landing x finish uh, pad one landing y start Add one landing Y finish. Right, so so we'll mark the other ones up as well. In fact, that's finish, isn't it? Yeah. That's in the wrong place. That's what's put me off. That's it. Right. So, this is pad two. Pad two. That's uh, finish. to y start y finish pad 2 oops and then we've got pad 3 so start pad 3 This is the landscape. So level landscape scape low bite. God, I can't spell for toffee. And this is the high bite. And we push it away, sort out the landscape, and then we do the three pads. So we'll leave them as they are. So let's just make sure this is right. So multiply by two. So we'll bring it back, multiply by two, transfer it to X, then we load the leveling array, and then we load the array as we would normally load it. 
Yep, that looks about right. So, what we need to do now is in the setup we've got to let's just make sure. So we're calling that storing X in level, storing X away, storing Y in difficulty, multiplying it, moving it to X, loading it in, starting it off. Right, okay, so that should do it. That should do it. Right, so we have a working scenario. Let's shift this out of the way. It's getting in the way now. It won't be long before I delete it. So I'll put that down here. So they're the difficulties. So easy is one and four, two and four. We've increased the fuel cost there. We've really increased the fuel cost there. Wow. Okay. So this should work. F five. If I've done it right, it should work perfectly. Hey. Look at that. to the speed zone. There we go. Right, so what that what difficulty was that? Let's look at the startup. So that was easy and normal. Right, let's move these back. So easy equals naught. Normal equals one. that hard equals two difficulty right let's make this normal okay here we go again now this should be a bit more difficult to, and we should see the fuel go down rapid You know something on the front screen. Look, when it lands, the rockets turn off. Hey. <laughs> oh my God! Look at the look at the fuel going down. Will I actually make it up? Right, I had a hundred and seventy something when I landed. Before, oh dear. Come on. Wow. That was close. I only scored 12. I'll have to look at the scoring on that one. Here we go. This is looking better. Very little fuel used to get over there. Come on. Get in that landing zone. There we go. That's better. Oh, I think that reset it back to zero, didn't it? Let's have a look at the game flow uh, next level. Did I reset that back to zero? No. LDY difficulty. No. Let's just check. When I die, do I reset anything? Oh, look here. I'll reset it. Well, we don't need that in there now. Don't need that in there now. Right, let's try that again. 
So we're on normal difficulty. So I, I thought it was a bit strange that I got over the mountain with very little fuel used. Look, flame out. Hehe. <laughs> Fuel going down. Come on, over the mountain. Over the mountain. Keep going, keep going. That's it. Don't go too fast. Don't go too fast. Wow. Wow. 34. That was only. Oh, we're doing all right now. Oh, no. We're back to. We're back to easy again. There's something else. Something else. Ah. Game. Let's search for game difficulty. Find game difficulty. That's okay. That's right. That's right. All right. Okay. Finding file. Game diff difficulty. Game flow mem game memory. Yeah, we know about that one. Know about that one. search for that so we've got two in game flow and one in game memory well we know what game memory is so why is difficulty why here we're not setting the variables directly after we load it so yeah that's what we need to do so first things first disable the variables disable the sprite so we don't see him prepare to land captain then load the difficulty in set up the variables right that should do it purely code in order code in order okay let's see if we can do it again up we go Fuel disappearing. Ooh, get over that. Here we go. Put the rockets on. Get slow with that ship down. Slow it down. Slow. It. There we go. Forty-six, I think that was. Yeah. Right. Do the same thing. Oh my God! Look at the fuel just dis disappear. Right. It's working now. crash <laughs> right so it's working now now we've done this now we've done this we can significantly increase the playability of this yeah so what I was thinking of doing was having different landers for for the um, Different, um, different levels and so I've created some sprites and I got the sprites from here and this is the uh, Commodore 64 step-by-step -step programming graphics book number four and yes I do have the book and what I've done is I've put in this one here 
as a, a land sprite and this one here as a land sprite. Now I think this one is a lot bigger than the other one but I'm not sure but I'm gonna make this the normal one this is gonna be the easy one the one down here and the one we've got gonna be it's gonna be hard so I have put them in so there it is it's there it is on its side well, it's no good on its side so I rotated it so that's our rotation and then we've got the flames at the bottom left and right and then the other one we've got the flames at the bottom left and right if I go onto the scratch pad you'll see there can we do magnification there we go so this is this is what they'll look like in flight and then these are what look like when they've got the um, the boosters going the only problem is is we don't have the memory because we load the sprites in here at 2A80 <coughs> and we've got the character set at 3000 so it doesn't give us much room especially if we're going to add another six sprites in there so what we need to do we need to do a bit of jiggery pokery yeah now we can move the character we can move the characters 400 so if we move them 400 so we'll have to go to the the game setup it's GM game characters GM game character unless it's at the top can't remember no it isn't game memory characters game characters 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 there so if we move this by 400 we have to up the character bank to say 13 so we'll just do that and then we'll compile it and let's see if we've got any overrun so f5 <laughs> right then so let's see if we've got any overrun shall we so let's go right so this is where this is where the program loads and then we start at 2 2a80 because that's the first available place for the sprites to go after where the music's been so so if we go down then we've load in the next set of sprites at 2c and then 2f is the next set and then we move the characters to 34, you know, 3400. So we've got a bit of space between so 400 between 2F and 3400. That's 400 in X, by the way. So that's a K. So that goes down. And how far does this one go? 3B. Then it goes into the next. So 3C. We might be all right. So that's 5A, five, 5B. Five and we do, oh, hang on. Oh, we're overrunning code, which is here. So how far does that, how far does the code go? Three, nine, three, A, B, C, four. Oh, we could knock it. So it starts at three, eight. Yeah, okay. So let's do a bit of jiggery pokery with some memory. So I'm going to move this because this is confusing matters. And this. So cut that and we'll put it at the end because that's where we've located it. And we'll move. So this is overrunning into here. So I'll move that to 40 which I think will overrun into this. So we'll put that at 54. Right, let's build it again. Okay, let's try, see, see how we do this time. So we're starting at two. Oh, that was a bit quick. 
that's where the character set starts and it finishes at 3C then we start at 4 and that goes on can't be far away now 5 oh definitely moved it 5-2 5-2-7-D we made it just in time right so we've got we've now created some sprites uh, space for our sprites okay so we'll do that so what we'll do now is in the uh, sprite extended the one we don't want which is that one we're going to delete so we've now got nine sprites and the first set is at sprite two three four and five so two is the ship three thrust four that's right five is left so six seven eight nine is the same let's have a look five yeah, we know about that one. Six is the ship. Thrust, right, left. There we go. So we need to load all those sprites in. Yes, we've edited them. So we go up here. And we're always just loading one. We're now doing one, two, nine. So we're loading all the sprites in. Now, there's a problem because we are... Um, using hard codes to set the sprites and we need to make them now soft so we need to go to the me grain memory and we now need to make some um, space for it and it's and we're going to use it in the difficulty part so we need to here so we need to make some space and what we're going to do is we are going to do 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 here isn't it well it doesn't matter where we put it does it because we sent right so we need to create some um, variables so sprite ship number yeah and then sprite Oh, I forgot about the um, windows. Sprite window ship number. I need to put them in. Sprite uh, thrust number. Sprite thrust. Uh, Thrust right number and sprite thrust left number. Right. Ah, well, I ain't done the windows, have I? I need to do the windows. Okay, let's do the windows. Right, so we're adding a new, get to the end, adding a new sprite, copy, paste. So we need to fill in the white. Just 
clear. Clear the sprite. And we'll just have to do it by ear. So there it is. So we want white, so we'll go back, set it to white. Or in fact yellow. I want yellow. Right, go forward, so there. That's it. I think that's the reference point. Yeah, so down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down six. Two, three, four, five, six. Three down, three across. I think we do the same thing again, yeah. And then we've got one to the side, side down, side down, and then three by three underneath it. And then twos at the side. Oh. That's it. Yep, that's it. Right, so that's that one. So I'll create another one. And we'll make, we'll go backwards for that one. There it is. So we're talking there, but to be honest, there's not a lot in there, is there? So we're one up from that square. So it's there like that. And then miss one for three. One, two, three. And then miss one row, move in one, one, two, one. Miss one row, one, two, one. Yeah, miss two rows and four. Miss two rows and four. Miss another row, one, two, one. Right, so that's that. And then we've got to the side, two up, offset two. Two up, offset two. So it's the same this side, two up, offset two. And then we've got miss one, one, offset two. From the bottom. Miss one, one, offset two. Miss one, one, offset two. That's it, that's it all done. Right, so we're up to 11. So this, is, so this one is 10, and that's 11 for the window. Right, save change this and load now up to 11 oh dear right so if we go into the constants file we should see all the sprites numbers there we go so this is all right so this is the, the hard So the sprite numbers for hard. Is gonna be so the ship. Right, okay. Let's <laughs> I'm trying to write down oh my god, forty five minutes. Right, ship. Uh window. Uh thrust. 
uh, thrust left, thrust right, and no. Oh, and I think I forgot about no thrust. But that's the same one anyway, no thrust. So, put that there, that there, and that there. So this is hard, norm, easy. So the ship is zero, windows is 18, two, three, four, five. Right, so norm, so we know that windows is 18, and that's the last sprite in there. So normal is going to be, so if that's 18, then that's 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, oh, no, 24, 25, So, 19, 20, 21, 19, oh we're normal, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and then easy is going to be 19, Window will be on easy is 26 27 and it's going to be 28 for easy. I hope I've got all this right. This is going to be a right mess if it doesn't work. So we're not going to be using these anymore. We might we might still use this one. So if I run these out so we can see where the places we set them. So let's go back to the memory and so for easy, so we'll do easy first, right, which is there. So we're, we're adding it in the order, oh we haven't done it have we? Right, so let's do this then. Right, so we're adding it into sprite ship number. Sprite windows. Sprite thrust. Sprite thrust. Right. Right. That will be the sprite setup. So let's put it in. We'll put it in the easy one to start with, just to make sure we got it right. So here we go. So byte zero. Right, 
13. Oh, this is hard, isn't it? Oh, so this is 19. 27. Rushing. 27. 20. Thrust is going to be a fixed number. Right, so where are we? Sprites. Set frame. Now we do this, I think. Lander, see if we can spot it. Set frame AV. That's what we do. And we're not going to be doing that now. We're going to be using set frame AA. So we're going to be using that. So we'll run this out. Copy it. Sprite number memory, go back up to the top, sprite ship number, oh this is still going to be V because that's no, no thrust, V no thrust, this one is going to be ship window. So here we are setting the sprite number. Right, so what we need to do is load. So thrust left. Thrust left is that one. Put that there. So this is going to be thrust right. And this is going to be thrust. No thrust is fine. See if we get any errors. Well, we didn't get any errors. I am amazed. But we've overrun the character set. See how far did we overrun it by? 
Oh, three, four, isn't it? Oh, we didn't overrun it. Well, there's the ex that's the explosion. This is the extended characters. No, we didn't overrun it. Oh. forgot didn't I forgot oh I did I checked no 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 it needs to be 14 let's try again oh Still, just noticed. Still on hard oh, normal, and we're up. We've just set up the easy bit. Right, here we go again. Right. Well, that's no good, is it? Spanner. Oh, got the right. Sp <laughs> got the sprite numbers in the wrong way. Yeah, got the sprite numbers the wrong way round. For left and right. Well, the sprite's working. Let's put the left and right sprites the right way around. So that's 22, 21. So why is the character set not working? We put the character set at 34. Let's put it 38. Probably overshot some memory, but we'll see. Let's have a quick look. It's 38. D, E. Is it going to finish? Oh, yeah, just in, just in time as well. Okay. Please work. Ooh, here we go. We're back. Right, so we should have the new sprite. There we go. <laughs> too, oh, just outside. I was just too, too hot, too fast. a lot easier with that shit. Right. We're on a winner now. Let's get on to the other one. So we'll copy the bytes. Paste it. Oops. Paste 
paste it there and there. Right, so the medium one is 23, 28, 24, 26. I'd swap these over 25. And these are 0, 18, 2, 3, 4. Right, let's put it on uh, medium. Let's see what that see what that lander looks like. Here we go. Love it, love it. Up we go. That's it, it's going that way, it's going that way. Liking it. Cool. That is hard. Running out of fuel, running out of fuel, running out of fuel. <laughs> right, let's put it on the hard and let's see if uh, the original lander turns up. So two. There it is. Right, there we go. Right, oh my god, an hour. Right, we'll call it, we'll call it a day for that. Um, the next thing we'll need to do is we'll need to, because we've only got one scenery at the moment, we've only got one level, so the next thing to do is to implement some sort of leveling and then have um, a, a screen that say, asks you what difficulty to, you want and then as you land we need to decide how many times you land per level before you move on to the next level so I better write that down Anna, as the next episode adding levels and progression right so if you like the video hit that like button if you didn't like the video fine hit the dislike button always leave me a comment as I try to answer them and if you like what I do then consider becoming a patron of mine all the money raised in patron it comes back into this channel all right and I will see you for the next video which will be adding levels and progression I will see you next time. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.